When you are teaching your client a new skill and your client is able to do more steps at the end, then backward chaining is a great idea. I am teaching a new skill and I'm using backwards chaining. So I started with the last step, which is removing the oatmeal from the microwave. When you teach a behavior chain, start with the very last step when you're teaching backward chaining. I prompted the entire chain of steps except for the last step of removing the bowl. My client did that part independently. She will gain access to the reinforcer after the most dependent step, which is removing the oatmeal from the microwave. This is the step that resulted in the highest reinforcement, which is eating the oatmeal. Since she mastered the last step, we're going to move on to the step that comes before the last step, which is to set the time on the microwave. When she masters that, I will teach the step of putting the bowl in the microwave and closing the door, and then the step before that, and the step before that, and the step before that. This is backward chaining.